Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the topic related with wastewater engineering in the topic of population equivalent and relative density. So first thing is population equivalent. So this is most important. Uh, so it's a indicate the strength of waste industrial wastewater to estimating the treatment required uh, for the municipal reverse treatment. Okay, so the how much amount of uh, treatment is uh, required for the industrial wastewater. Okay, so it can be uh, find out by the uh, total BOD of the industry in kg divided by 0 0.08 kg per day per person. Okay, so that is standard uh, average BOD 5 do of domestic sewage. Okay, so the population equivalent is the comparison of domestic sewage and uh, industrial sewage. So the how much amount of uh, treatment is required for the industrial sewage uh, when compared to the domestic sewage. Okay, so from that uh, we can know so the average BOD of domestic sewage is 0 0.08 kg per day per person okay so that's why we can put over here so the industrial sewage is equal to the standard average BOD of domestic sewage into population equivalent okay so that's why uh, we are putting uh, total BOD of the industrial sewage divided by 0 0.08 kg per day per person okay so next thing is relative stability so it's a ratio of oxygen available in the efficient uh, to total oxygen required to satisfy the first stage of BOD okay so that's why the relative density is the quantity of uh, dissolved oxygen present in the wastewater divided by the quantity of dissolved oxygen required to satisfy the first stage of BOD okay so uh, this is called relative density so the formula is s equal to 1 minus uh, power minus kd into t into 100 okay so this is a formula we can use for relative stability so in india bod tests are generally conducted in 37 degrees celsius because it's here becomes very costly to maintain the equipment at 20 degrees celsius okay for BOD test in incubator we can maintain the 20 degrees celsius but the thing is in India so we can't maintain the 20 degrees celsius because it's very costly so we can maintain 37 degree celsius okay so that's why we can put over here s equal to 100 so in this 100 into 1 minus 0 0.794 into t20 okay so if case we can maintain the 20 degree celsius so if case uh, we can maintain the 37 degrees celsius uh, so the formula will be s equal to 100 into 1 minus 0 0.630 into t 37 okay so in india we can use only the formula so that is 37 degrees celsius because the 20 maintaining 20 degrees celsius is very costly okay again we will see next video thank you